Okay, this is Travis Wayne Goodsell, and uh, we're doing another video from Handbook 1 of the LDS Church. Uh, this is the site. I type in uh, LDS Church Handbook 1 PDF, and uh, you look for this PDF Handbook 1 Doc Droid. It's docdroid.net, and it's still available no it's not been taken down yet you want to click the download in this upper right corner here stay away from this and stay away from uh, this all right and now okay uh, we've already covered the the introduction of it with uh, how this is forbidden knowledge and uh, uh, again a reminder Mormons if you can soundly prove the church I will stop doing videos critical of the church and if uh, you can't soundly prove it you have to leave it's that simple so uh, let's see introduction uh, learn duties I think we sort of covered this but we didn't go over it specifically uh, and this is a an overview of the, of the there's handbook 2 administering to the church that's for the uh, the priesthood quorums and Re uh, relief society All right, and then this is just how to find stuff in here and questions application it's supposed to be used by the leadership of the church it's not supposed to be made public but it is and if leaders have questions contact leaders <laughs> and distribution and only for the church okay and so yes as you can see by the copyright 2017 uh, even though this is the 2010 version they just renewed the copyright kept the original 2010 version there's been a number of them over the time when they first started it I believe they first started it in the early 1900s uh, but uh, this is the most update version with the insert that had to be put in because of protect LDS children and uh, so in bishops interviews are changed all right duties of a stake president uh, he is the presiding high priest and uh, it's interesting because the bishop is called the presiding high priest that is not correct uh, he's the presiding priest because he's over the priest quorum of the deacon of the Aaronic priesthood uh, but the presiding high priest is the stake president because he is the one who has the high council courts for excommunication of those men who are Melchizedek priesthood holders bishops cannot do that only a stake president and the, the stake council can do that okay then it defines stake which comes from Isaiah so yeah it's interesting when you're on your LDS mission people say stake I like stake <laughs> no apparently you've never read Isaiah and of course Isaiah is and is plagiarized in the Book of Mormon uh, he holds the priesthood keys for the stake and that's as far as it goes it can't go beyond uh, the stake and so the Mormon view of the apostasy period which was after the death of Jesus and the Apostles is that uh, the various bishops of the the Christian congregations only had priesthood keys over their 
congregation. It wasn't for the whole church, as the uh, Jesus and the apostles were, and uh, and and so uh, I don't think anybody I've not heard of anybody who knows that Pope actually refers to bishop, uh, even though the, uh, Catholics all consider the Pope the uh, the vicar of Christ, the leader of the whole church all the various congregations. Uh, he's merely a bishop and cannot be elevated above that according to Mormon uh, uh, procedure. So if the top leadership of the church, which would be the First Presidency, the Quorum of the Twelve, and the Seventies, if they were to be done away with, the church would be uh, at the stake level uh, and section 107 does explain what needs to be done at that point if such a thing were to occur but Mormons don't know about it strangely enough and it's because Brigham Young diverted everybody's attention away from that verse all right so let's see uh, yeah I remember from the other video when I first found out and was going over it. Okay. The stake president holds the priesthood keys to direct the work of the work of the state. He and his counselors form a stake presidency. They minister to stake presidents. They, st they minister to stake members with love and concern, helping them become true followers of Jesus Christ. You see what they did there with the wording? They minister to stake members with love and concern. Apparently they have to be told that. <laughs> but this is a type of propaganda brainwashing technique. Uh, <laughs> and you'll see it later on as we go through. Uh, this is where uh, you tell people what you expect them to be. Uh, it's not a matter of, of uh, telling them the specific job requirements. Uh, this is telling them how to be in character and person. And uh, that's, that, that's brainwashing. That's a propaganda technique that Russia has been doing. And Trump himself, if you've not noticed, he always says, no collusion. He automatically just says, no collusion. That's a, a Jedi mind trick, if you're familiar with Star Wars, as Star Wars was big because of Mormon Mike Lee on the Senate floor doing his little stunt. Um, but uh, uh, when uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and, the Re and Star Wars, uh, they're at the cantina and the, the stormtroopers come to them and, and uh, inspect the their credentials and whatever and Obi-Wan Kenobi waves his arm and these are not the droids you're looking for uh, that's all it is it's uh, you're telling other people uh, how to be how to behave how to act rather than what their job requirements are and uh, that's a brainwashing technique so I hope Star Wars helped illustrate that point to you and the church is full of it when we have conference coming up in a week and a half, you're going to hear talk after talk after talk. The true Mormon is this, 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 and this. And, you know, the true mother of, of Zion does this. The true priesthood holder does the, is this. And the, the, uh, the youth of the church are this. It just makes me gag. All right, so uh, this is the job requirements. Uh, well, that's not a job requirement, being the presiding high priest. Uh, they, they need to explain more about the priest of high priest duties. Uh, the common judge, uh, that has to do with courts, because, you know, there's nothing really else to judge other than to assign people to positions. Uh, welfare matters. Uh, 
supposed to oversee welfare, and we'll get to that when we do the bishop video, because uh, the bishop is supposed to be doing things that bishops in the church are not doing, but we'll get to that in a different video. Uh, overseas records, uh, they have to keep records. Uh, they're not supposed to withhold anything or destroy records or do things in secret and, and whatever. So all these uh, secret interviews, secret meetings, they're all supposed to be recorded. And there's a reason. And the reason is, is to protect people, uh, either the leader or the uh, person being interviewed or in the meeting. Uh, and that's not a practice that's practiced in the church, you know, and then the reason why is only one reason. It's not stupidity. It's purposely keeping things secret. Uh, that's why there needs to be a record so that people can say, hey, no, the bishop was, daddy, the bishop was telling me about masturbation. And daddy gets all upset, goes, talks to the bishop, and says, I didn't do anything like that. Your child is lying. You calling my child a liar? Yes. And then there's no record, so how are we supposed to prove one way or the other? So needs to have a record. And so when the church is saying, we do not want those meetings recorded, those interviews recorded, well, they're covering things up. They can't do that. And so the stake president is supposed to be over records in the church. And of course, the church just interprets it as the official certifications, uh, the baptismal certificate, the priesthood ordination certificate, the primary graduation certificate, and those types of records. And that's not quite entirely the full thing. Uh, finances. The church is supposed to be my, uh, nitpicky on detailed records of finances. And this means that all we have to do is subpoena the main church's financial records. They're keeping those secret. They're not revealing those financial records. And I'm, you know, with what's going on, we need the, to see how our, well, I'm not paying anymore, but uh, Mormons need to find out how much they're paying to the church and where it's going and other monies that are coming in from the other uh, for-profit businesses, from the educational businesses, and now through uh, LLC corporations. We need to know who's given what to the church. They can't keep that a secret. The church is not uh, doing military campaigns that they can't reveal the strategy, and this ain't a game where you don't want to reveal your strategy to the other players. This is the church. Everything's supposed to be transparent in a church. All right. <sighs> To enable him to concentrate on those duties, he delegates, and yeah, that's part of being a, a leader, you have to delegate responsibilities. Uh, stake president is absent, ill, or otherwise unable to perform his duties. A counselor may act in his place temporarily, except as noted in this handbook. Yeah, there's specific things that only the stake president is allowed to do. Uh, and counselors are not able to do. Uh, similar to when President Monson was sick and was dying, uh, and counselors were doing things that they weren't supposed to do. And that was a naughty no-no. And they were working in conjunction with uh, President Nelson to get those things done uh, just before N Monson died. So state president can't follow that example. Okay, you know, prophets have this guidebook. This is for them too. This is the pattern. You know, the president of the church is the presiding high priest over the whole church. So thus, when it says presiding high priest here, it's also talking to the president of the church. 
This is their handbook also. And thus, they don't want this released to the public. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get to duties afterward. We'll stick with the theme of, of not keeping things secret. So we'll stop it here at this point.